Hi, um, so I want to talk about how I am not good at running at all. Um, so that's what made me super, super nervous for boot camp is the fact that you have to be able to run a mile and a half in a certain amount of time. I was so bad that when in eighth grade I did cross country, I was like third to last at the end of the race. I just wasn't good at it. It's never been something I enjoyed. It's never something I like got into until I realized I have to now. So um, I did my senior pro I did my senior project on getting better at running and getting better at just the workouts I'm going to need for boot camp. Um, so on a more serious note, there's a lot of issues in the military for women um, and really just anybody that's a minority, specifically women, people of color, um, anybody in the LGBT community, and a lot of that gets unnoticed and unsaid because um, it makes a very small group of the military because the military is already only 1% of the population in America as is. So the smaller majority, only 10% of that 1% are women. So that's not a lot of women being heard and a lot of people take advantage of their power when they are in the military. So a lot of people end up getting harassed or um, sexually assaulted, or just a bunch of other horrible things. I'm going to get back to the uh, less serious topic now, the working out aspect of it. So um, a lot of my working out was um, a lot of cardio based, and a lot of planks and all that fun stuff that nobody really enjoys. And one thing I can genuinely appreciate is how f much faster your body um, how much longer your body can last than your mind. Your mind will tell you you are done probably halfway through to when you're actually done. And I learned that a lot while running because I noticed when I was like half a mile in, my mind was screaming at me that I was done, but I can do more than that. And I just ignored it and kept going. And it's just incredible to think about that way. Another thing that really, really helped me get through my workouts was Dylan. He actually went with me a lot to the gym most of the nights that I went. And that was really helpful to have somebody there to support you while you were doing something you really didn't like to do. And in my case, that was running. So when I started my um, senior sem, I was at about around a 12 minute mile. And now I'm at a 9 minute and 40 mile, which is almost a few minutes shaved off, which is good for me. Not very, not very good for some athletic people, but for me it was a major improvement and I'm honestly proud of the progress I've made. So um, I ended up interviewing my recruiter. Her name is Petty Officer Wiggins. She's been in the Navy for about five years and she's very new to recruiting. So um, she actually does have an experience witnessing harassment between um, a higher individual his name was, um, I don't remember his last name, but it was Chief something. And he um, was just making inappropriate comments towards women, um, just comments you shouldn't be making towards people in general. And um, they didn't like that. So they ended up going to the, um, they ended up going to the main people and telling them, hey, Chief is not treating us properly and he's saying inappropriate things to us. He ended up um, getting forced retired, so um, they went to the SAPAR department, and that means sexual assault and prevention response, which they do a lot more than just um, prevent sexual assault, they prevent sexual harassment and respond to it. So um, here's some pictures of me, like one of my favorite forms of cardio is boxing. Um, and a lot of that is a self-defense thing because women in, the women enlisted need protection and that's just something I feel could be better. Definitely a lot better, but we're getting better now. Any questions? Yes? Uh, what made you want to go into the Navy? In all honesty, I did not have a plan for after high school because I didn't know what I was going to do. And I had a recruiter, I had my um, recruiter reach out to me and she was like, why don't you just check it out? And I was like, okay. And then I just ended up getting convinced into joining. Uh, Raylan. Uh, how many years were you in the Army? Uh, so my contract is about eight years. It's four years on and then four years off, so inactive. Four years.
highly. What are some like steps that you think the military can do to better protect women? Well, one big thing I think that they can do is make these programs more known to people and tell people that they're not going to get in trouble for reporting their supervisor who's misusing their power. I guess it's just a big thing, like bring awareness to the programs they offer and bring awareness to the issues at hand. Let me stop. Thank you.